do you want? To make you an offer. What kind of an offer? Take a look. Oh, is it really present? No, not really. Jackie, I'm very busy. I've got a lot to do. Take it, it's yours. Whatever it is, I don't want it. You don't get off my property. Me for 30 grand. So I want to buy them back. <laughs> That's your offer. Yeah. Right. You make an offer on, on a house or a car, not a child. You can't buy a child. Uh, you did. Well, it's different. How? Well, you wanted to sell. I don't. No, Susanna, I didn't want to sell. I wanted to help you and Max. Well, then why did you take the money? Because I needed it. More than you needed the baby you gave birth to. Oh, look. I'm not criticising you. Oh, not much, you know. No, I was grateful to you at the time. I couldn't have done what you did. What? Well, go through a lot of pain and discomfort to help a friend, you mean? Well, I couldn't have done it, but I'm glad you did. Yeah, and so was I. I thought you'd make good parents. You gave me Harry. Well, I was wrong. And he means more to me than any amount of money. You couldn't buy him back for ten times that, a hundred times that. What people like you don't realise, people who measure everything in terms of money, is that Harry is priceless to me because he is my son. You've got no legal proof of that. I don't need legal proof. Um, it's my name on the birth certificate. He was never officially adopted. And when you and Max split up, you had even less right to him. When Max and I split, you didn't want him. Max didn't want him, but I did. Yeah, well, I've been to see a solicitor and he thinks that I've got a good case. Oh, he just wants his fees. You know what solicitors are like? You live with one, for God's sake. Well, with my name on the birth certificate and no legal agreement, all I have to do is prove that your lifestyle makes you an unfit mother. Oh, is that all? Yeah, prove that Harry will be better off with me. I'll fight you every inch of the way. And you'll lose, which is why I'm here. Susanna, I'd spend all that on legal fees. We could go through a long court battle which won't do anyone any good except the lawyers. Or you can just take the money and save us all a lot of trouble. Go on then. Y you accept? No. Prove it. Prove that my lifestyle makes me a bad mother. Prove that Harry will be better off with you. Go on. Put your case. When I gave Harry to you and Max... I sold? When I sold him. I thought he was going to a loving couple who'd look after him properly, but then you split up. One in three marriages fail. Do you want to buy all their children as well? It was a very acrimonious divorce. Was Max and I get him fine now? Yeah, and then he disappeared for ages, made no effort whatsoever to contact them. How does that make me an unfit mother? You don't care as much about Harry as you do about Emma. Says who? I've seen it with my own eyes. You've imagined it. Now, when Max and me took him to the hospital when he had that ear infection, you were relieved that it wasn't Emma, and even Max noticed it. I wasn't. You were, and you know it. I was relieved it wasn't serious. And then there's been bruises. Oh, he's a child. Anybody who's been near children knows they get bruises all the time. And then there's all the men. What men? Max, Greg, Mick. Three. Now you're carrying on behind Mick's back. That's all over. That is four. Four men in 40 years? Yeah, that we know about. Hardly makes me an infomaniac. It all adds up. Adds up to what? To your house not being a stable environment for children. I'm marrying Mick tomorrow. And then we'll be a family. There's nothing you can do about it. A nice, happy, stable family. Just Harry and Emma and me and Mick. Yeah you've already been unfaithful to. And when he finds out, that marriage will be over. And you're going to tell him, are you? He'll find out if it goes to court. You're the model of stability, you are. A good lawyer will get you on that witness box and tear your little reputation to shreds. But, Susanna, there's no need to go through all that. That doesn't have to happen. Just take the money. It'll be better for everyone in the end. My sex life has got nothing to do with my ability to be a good mother. This was taken a few days ago. You only have to look at it. You can see the like in us, can't you? I have a bond with them. A bond? What kind of bond? A premium bond? Something you can make money out of? No, a maternal bond. He's got my genes and it's my name on the birth certificate. A piece of paper. Do you want to see a piece of paper that proves I'm his mother? Do you? Wait there. What's that? 
Don't you know? That doesn't prove anything. He drew that for me. Nobody else, me. His mummy. It's just Scribble. No, it's not Scribble. It's Scoop the Digger. Didn't you know that? What's Harry's favourite tweenie? Oh, do you know who the tweenies are? What's his favourite video? What shoe size did he take? Is he left-handed or right-handed? I can learn all that in about an hour. What does he prefer, carrots or broccoli? OK, you know him better than me. That is not the point. What was the first word he ever said? I don't know. Mama! And who did he say it to me? Yeah, well, he said that to me when this photograph was taken. When he hurts himself, it's me he runs to. When he's ill, it's my lap he wants to lie in. And when I come home from work, his face lights up when he sees me. That's what makes me his mum. And from tomorrow, Mick will be his dad. Yeah, and then the next day, it'll be someone else. That's all over an hour. Tell it to the court. I will. If I have to, I will. From now on, it's just me and Mick and my children. There'll be no more men. If you left now, who's at the door? If you have anything else to say to me, you can do it through my solicitor. Susanna, open the door. I need to talk with you. That's done. I know how it is. Oh, we need to sort this out once and for all. Just a minute. Do you mind? Oh, sorry, I didn't realise you had company. No, it's all right. Jack is just leaving. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm going nowhere. Do I have to throw you out? It's him, isn't it? He's the one you've been seeing behind Mick's back. <laughs> 